We are here, we are here, we are here. On this amazing day. Okay everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up SHLX stock. We are on the monthly time frame. Price action, last candle to the right hand side is a bullish green candle. Price action is trying to break the previous area. But before we get to that, we can see there's a few patterns forming. So we do have the first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. Overall retest, market pushed up once, retest, market's on the second push. Okay, so we're gonna see, we're gonna follow up with the, is the, is the market gonna push further from this previous side and come back down to retest to work its way up further? Or is that market is gonna run into this resistance for the first leg, second leg, third leg, overall, fourth leg, overall retest, and market can come down after a pattern to identify if it identifies as a bearish red candle engulfment and that market can work its way down from a double top and a retest or an overall triple top. So we do have price and Goffman, the previous side, hasn't closed out yet. So we're going to see if this market's going to push up further or is it going to retest the midpoint of that area, come back down and retest that midpoint that red we just created and market pushes up or it can just decline from there. So that's looking down the weekly time frame to see what's going on. Okay, on the weekly time frame, we have a huge bullish green candle. Below that, we have a pattern of a W. First, second, third, fourth. So that market pushed up for overall fourth leg. Within the zone that we created, we do have uh, price action. It is near the high. We have the low. And we can see we have a midpoint. So price action has created the first leg, second leg, third leg. Did push up for that fourth leg. Is the market going to reach all the way up to that resistance of that high? Or... Is it going to come back to retest with a bearish red candle, create some support, and then push up there? And that's what we'll be identifying the double bottom and a retest. Now, if that market does drop, it can drop and create some type of first leg, come back down to the second leg, break the midpoint for that second leg, come back for a retest for the third leg, and push down for the fourth leg. And we'll get, we may receive that double top formation. And once it breaks out the overall zone, looking for a follow-up or another retest for that market to work its way down further. Headed down to the daily time frame to see what's going on. So if we take the zone and put an overall midpoint in that area, and we can see we have first level highs and second level lows. So we can see that price is near second level lows. So let's take a look at what's going on in that area. Okay, on the daily time frame, price action, last candle in the market is a green bullish doji. Indecisive, want to probably want to see a follow up with the next candle to engulf that previous area to see if that market is going to go up or is that candle is going to grow up further and work as well. Now, if so, um, we can see that market may identify the first leg, second leg, price actions to retest for the third leg. If the market pushes with this candle, a traditional candle, market pushes up for that incline double bottom. And if price rejects from the resistance, we can see that market tag that first leg, second leg, third leg. Okay, we're just looking for a market to show, identify a bearish red candle or a pattern to engulf the second last candle. Maybe some of that wick as well to push down for that double top.
or that market can still consolidate sideways within this area of a little bit to that high, a little bit to that low, and couldn't be within the second to last candle, a little bit above the second last candle, and the following candles. Headed down to a four hour time frame. Price action on the four hour time frame is a bearish red doji. So like it's retesting, creating a area of resistance, could be pushing down if we receive an engulfment pattern to this red doji to the second last candle. If that market closes out below the second last candle, market can work its way down. If not, it can be a support for the next bullish green candle to work its way up further. So that market is, if the market does work its way up for the incline, we can identify the first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg retest. Market pushed up once. Price action did break the SR line. Price action also is the retest. If we receive a bullish green candle, that's going to engulf price action candle currently and the second and last candle in the market. Market can push up from a triple bottom followed up with a retest and then a push or a double bottom and a retest and then market work its way up for one push and that will be the second push. So this market still has a chance to run into that resistance and declining. So overall, first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, retest, get the engulfment pattern to a second last candle. Market's coming down from a triple top or double top and a retest from that area or price action as we identify on the daily time frame, you go a little bit above that SR line, a little bit of below that SR line. Now price is in a range, and we can see that market keep creating those patterns of those W's and M's before the breakout to the top side or breakout to the bottom side. Headed down to three hour time frame. Four hour, three hour, identifying the same thing. Headed down to the two, identifying the same thing. Headed down to the one, still identifying the same thing with some structure up here. So let's zoom in. So at that area resistance, it can be a double top of something forming in this area above price action. Price action is a doji coming from the highest high of this area of look like an M. Coming up in the green is the first leg, second leg, third leg, and then market prices look like it's headed down. Uh, price second last candle did not engulf the previous candle showing a push, but price action did engulf the previous side that can push that down to that midpoint. So price action could be coming back for that overall break retest. Still looking for the structure to identify itself to see if it's going to push up for maybe a W or price action can push down for that first second third fourth receive the break retest the bottom of that midpoint work its way down further for that first overall trend push on the one hour time frame headed down to the 45 minute identifying the same thing with price action doji bearish red candle and same as the 30 minute headed down to the 15 now we get receiving some type of support on the 15 minute time frame May not be a dominant strong support because price action on the four hour time frame is a doji. It's a bullish green doji that can create an area support in multiple ways. So let's talk about what we can see in that market. So price action above price, we have multiple touches to that resistance first, second, third, fourth, retest one, retest, and market push down for the second time for that second full push and then price action is a doji so it's indecisive so you want to see if a, a candle is going to engulf to the upside or a downside so we look for this market to we put this area can do into a range until we see the breakout of that doji and probably the closeout headed down to the five minute price action second last candle side by side consolidation headed down to a three minute time frame price action created as support and pushed up so it's on the second leg, so we all know it's going to push down for that third leg or break fully out. Headed down to the one hour time frame. And we had a retest, so market spiked down to a low, pushed up to the high, hanging at, at that bottom of resistance. Is it going to push down lower or push up higher? Okay, guys, this is Cam Jones, SHLX, stock.